So this is the tow bar for my A3. Um, I got it off Facebook Marketplace for £60, I believe. And it came off a five door, so hopefully it will fit on the three door. Um, we'll work that out. It comes with two sets of um, bolting holes. These are the holes that were used when it was mounted on their car. So hopefully it will just bolt straight up. There'll be no issues. It's an MQB chassis, so apparently most stuff fits quite easily. This is the tow ball flange. Um, we've got an electric harness also to wire up. So yeah, uh, it's not it's not a detachable tow bar, and yeah, we're going to clean this up before we install it. Now the next steps with the tow bar are going to be getting the rear bumper off and the lights out and then we can start fitting the tow bar up. To do this we're going to go inside of here. Um, this panel pulls out. Um, I've moved my cigarette lighter so that's why that's like that. And then we can get to the light things, these things that hold in the light cluster. I think they just unscrew. This bit of trim needs to be lifted up. It literally just lifts up as the clips hold it. Look like that. You just lift it up and untuck it from the rubber strip. Like that. And then we have got access to behind here. There are some bolts. Behind there, there is bolts that hold the bumper on. On the inside of the wheels there are wheel arches there are a couple of screws we need to take off from the spiding so we'll be able to pop the bumper out this way i'm going to spray some wd-40 in this gap to help the plastics move So we've got the bumper off, we've got the crash bar off, and we're ready to bolt up the new, the new tow bar. Um, so as you can see, there are actually no holes on the frame. But on the inside, the holes are actually drilled. And as you can see here, the under seal just needs poking through. So we're going to have to make holes in the under seal. So I've, I have ran my finger over basically, and where it pushes in, you can see what the holes are going to be. There's one there, there's one there. I've been fiddling around, basically I couldn't work out why I couldn't get this to fit. And basically, to get the bolt holes you have to peel off the other seal. Oh, I didn't realise that that was the third hole. 
and so yeah just just be mindful so this is this tow bar was off a five door um and so i thought it wouldn't fit but actually it does this hole lines up and this hole lines up exactly so basically there's holes on the under seal even though you can't see it and it's also plated at the back so it definitely is a bolt hole um i've just waited half an hour so yeah just let you know fyi The electrics this is the smart relay um it's one specifically for canvas cars um, it says here. and it slides over so this is the trailer core side and then this is the power so we'll put 12 volt power in and then this will go into the vehicle's loom and then this is the plug we've got to go on the end of the hitch so i'm going to go and splice these all into the loom on my car so this will now get spliced into the loom on the left hand side of my car. So inside the boot there is this wiring harness that comes from the front of the car and I've disconnected this from the plug up inside there and I'm now going to put the indicators on and test the pins. Um, I'm hoping to run all the wires off this side not have to run wires from the other side to this side in the car. So yeah. the electrics started to wire up so this is the side from the towing, towing socket out here and this is now being widened the white is the ground so I just extended this and then we're going to put it straight to the chassis ground that's already up there so I'll just go directly there and then yeah the rest of this this is the grey one's the reverse line and I found that inside of there I'm going to continue put my soldering iron and then my little extenders if I need it and wire the rest of these um, wires into the car. 